Indigenous land rights are the rights of indigenous peoples to land and natural resources therein. Either individually or collectively, mostly in colonized countries, land and resource related rights are of fundamental importance to indigenous peoples for a range of reasons, including the religious significance of the land, self determination, identity, and economic factors. Land is a major economic asset, and in some indigenous societies, using natural resources of land and sea form the basis of their household economy. So the demand for ownership derives from the need to ensure their access to these resources. Land can also be an important instrument of inheritance or a symbol of social status. In many indigenous societies, such as among the many Aboriginal Australian peoples, the land is an essential part of their spirituality and belief systems indigenous land claims have been addressed with varying degrees of success on the national and international level since the very beginning of colonization. Such claims may be based upon the principles of international law, treaties, common law, or domestic constitutions or legislation. Aboriginal title is a common law doctrine that the land rights of indigenous peoples to customary tenure persist after the assumption of sovereignty under settler colonialism. Statutory recognition and protection of indigenous and community land rights continues to be a major challenge, with the gap between formally recognized and customarily held and managed land as a significant source of underdevelopment, conflict, and environmental degradation. The foundational documents for indigenous land rights in international law include the Indigenous and Tribal Peoples Convention, 1989. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the American Convention on Human Rights, and the American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Aboriginal title, also known as native title, is the common law doctrine that the land rights of indigenous peoples to customary tenure persist. After the assumption of sovereignty, Indigenous peoples may also have certain rights on crown land in many jurisdictions. Indigenous land rights have historically been undermined by a variety of doctrines such as terra nullius, which is a Latin term meaning, land belonging to no one, in 1971. A group of Mering people in Australia issued a legal claim for their ownership of their island of Mer in the Torres Strait. In their legal claim they issued that their land is inherently and exclusively owned, lived and governed by Mering people, where they historically managed its political and social issues. After years of the case being heard by the legal courts, and after the death of one of the plaintiffs, the High Court's judgment issued a recognition of the natives' ownership to land and the denial of the myth of the terra nullius. The leading case for Aboriginal title in Canada is Delgamuk v. British Columbia. Another important case for Aboriginal title is the Silage Kyang Nation v. British Columbia. As the political systems of some Latin American countries are now becoming more democratic and open to listening and embracing the views of minorities these issues of land rights have clearly come up to the surface of the political life. Despite this new re-recognition, bit by bit, the indigenous groups are still among the poorest populations of the countries and they often have less access to resources and they have lesser opportunities for progress and development. The legal situation of indigenous land rights in the countries of Latin America is highly varied. There is still a very broad variation of indigenous rights, laws and recognition throughout the whole continent. In the year 1957, the International Labour Organization made the ILO Convention 107. This convention created laws and norms for the protection and integration of indigenous peoples in independent countries. All the independent countries of Latin America and the Caribbean of that time ratified this convention. Since the 1960s they started with the recognition of the first indigenous land claims since the colonial era. In the year 1989 the ILO made the Convention 169. The Convention Concerning Indigenous and Tribal Peoples in Independent Countries, which updates the ILO 107 of 1957. In this convention was also the recognition of the very close and important relationship between 
land and identity or cultural identity very important today this convention has been ratified by 15 latin american and caribbean countries even in countries where it has been ratified limited implementation has led to conflicts over indigenous land rights such as the escobal mine protests in guatemala indigenous land rights were recognized in the treaty of waitangi made between the british crown and various more 